live stream. You're good. Hi, everybody. Welcome tonight. This is Cooking with Tupperware and Champion. We're thrilled to have you here this evening. We have got so many fun things planned for you. And as you're coming on, if you are our guest, we want you to put in the chat that you're a guest and who you're a guest with. Uh, because we like to give away free Tupperware. And so we're going to do uh, random drawings all night long and give away free Tupperware. Now, if you are a host, please tell us you are a host and who your Tupperware consultant is because you have a chance to win a little bigger piece of Tupperware, okay? And so we do one drawing tonight for our host drawing as well and our grand prize. And so we need to know how to separate them for that one drawing, okay? Thank you for being with us tonight. And I hope you're ready to celebrate some Happy birthday to the U.S., all right? And so we're doing Happy Birthday USA tonight. We're going to have red, white, and blue fun stuff and some great ideas for you to use for the weekend because you need some ideas for fun. Even if it's just you, you need to have fun, right? And so we've got some great ideas for you. Well, as you're watching us tonight, I want you to know something. We're going to be real upfront about it. <laughs> we're looking for new members to join our team. And so if you're sitting there thinking, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, well, why not get it at a discount? You can have a consultant, a discount for only $15. We will give you 25% off everything you want, all right? And you know what? It's not just for here. It's for as long as you want it. Because as long as you constantly are ordering a little bit of Tupperware here and there with you and placing orders maybe for your friends or whatever, you're going to keep that uh, status of active gone and you're going to be able to have it for years. We don't do a yearly uh, renewal or anything like that. You can have it for as long as you want. The other option would be for you to take this amazing kit. Now this is a starter kit and it gives you everything you kind of need to get started with in the Tupperware business. Uh, it gives you a lot of sampling. Uh, so a sampling of an amazing bowl set, a sampling of our amazing master chef system, all right? And I love our little chopper. I love the big one. You're going to see a demo tonight. You're going to have one of our wonderful eco cups. I love eco. Eco is because it's made from recycled water bottles that were meant to be one time use and tossed away forever in a landfill somewhere. Not anymore. Tupperware is one of four companies that has designed the way to make those reusable. And we can take that. And actually, the engineers in Tupperware have created recycling that is made from one-time use throwaways. We're so proud of that. We're so excited that. And they are called Eco Plus. And they're food safe. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And then we also have our water bottle, traditional water bottle, that you're going to love, love, love. These are so handy because they're easy to hold on to. Where a lot of water bottles aren't easy to grab and hold on to, these are going to be wonderful for holding on to. You can just pop it and drink. Or you can throw a straw in there if you prefer to drink from a straw, too. That's perfectly fine, too. And these are really practical. I use them oftentimes with um, a lot of ice in them. In fact, I will often fill a water bottle halfway full, and I lay it in the freezer, and so it's laying long ways. And then when I'm ready to get ready to breathe, I will go ahead and open it up and add more water, and then I'm ready to go with a great big chunk of ice in there. You know what happens when you have a lot of little ice cubes? They melt quickly. But if you have one great big chunk of ice, it does not melt quickly, all right? And so you have cold water for quite a while. Then I also have here our measuring cups and measuring spoons, the most accurate ones on the market, written up by Better Homes and Garden as truly accurate and amazing measuring cups and measuring spoons. I also like it because we do have um, two thirds and three fourths in our measuring cups, which is very convenient. And our measuring spoons are designed and so that if you are making a recipe, you can go ahead and measure it out and let it sit down on the countertop for you and they won't tilt. And so you can see by showing you right here how they will sit there and not tilt and spill the ingredients that you have in your, in your uh, measuring spoon. We also have one eighth teaspoon. Most companies don't have an eighth of teaspoon and we do have an eighth teaspoon on ours. Love our spatula. You're going to want this. In fact, you might want more than one. All right. I have to tell you, you can tell me, look, it doesn't match my kitchen and I don't care because somebody said to me, it doesn't match my kitchen. I said, my two, no match. All right. And I am going to tell you, you may want two or three. I currently have three of these in my kitchen. 
This is not allowed to be dirty and not available for me to use for cooking. I love this spatula. It is heat resistant, it's silicone, it's pliable, it's never gonna damage my cookware. It's not gonna damage any of my beautiful Tupperware products at all. And even your fine crystals, it will never damage it because of that wonderful heat resistant silicone. Very, very strong though. And so, you know, if you've ever had a spatula, you went to stir something and it was kind of complaining and not helping you. Well, this is going to help you, all right? And then I also love our traditional that's a bowl. Now this is a 12 cup that's a bowl. We have lots of different sizes in our that's a bowls and they are always the bowls with the holes. And so I really like our Tupperware that's a bowls because, you know, I have to share, this is something my mother would take and just beep, 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 beep like that because she could hold on to it really, really good. And uh, you know how fast they could beat, uh, you know, mom and grandma, they could always beat their batter like crazy with a spoon. Well, we can show you how to make that easier with our power shop. And our breakfast maker is here, which is very practical. I love to use my breakfast maker and I often use it to steam vegetables sometimes, but it will make poached eggs, it will make scrambled eggs, make a little souffle, a little omelets, oh, easy and oh, so practical. You can even actually make a cake in here. This is just heat resistant plastics from microwave that are completely safe, BPA free and amazing product line. Now talk about amazing. This is the vent and serve. Now, if you've never seen vent and serve, these are the ones that look like glass. However, they are made for the refrigerator and the freezer. You can mix it and fix it and take it and bake it and serve it and save it easy, clean it, throw the dishwasher in the microwave because it will not damage. And you can take it directly from the uh, refrigerator to the freezer or directly from the microwave to the freezer. Won't hurt it, won't damage it. And they are completely designed never to break, all right? And so what's really cool is the handles are always full, cool, all right? And so when you pull this out of the microwave, your handles are fine. The feet on it hold it up, and so the microwaves go in and around and up, and so it really cooks very evenly for you quickly. And you just pop this little tie note vent right there and leave it open for the microwave, close it for the refrigerator and the freezer. So practical. Now, if you've ever had that matching set of Cool Whip bowls that are all stained on the inside with spaghetti sauce, no, never again. This will never stain. It's got stain art in it. It's absolutely made. So high fats and high sugars <coughs> will not hit it or damage it in any way. Isn't that so cool? This is what every kitchen needs lots of. And revolutionary new design in our crystal way, we've also put stain guard in here. So it's not going to stain from curry powder or spaghetti sauce or anything like that. It's not going to stain at all. And it has a rocking cap as well. Now this is a round seal and anytime you see a round seal on Tupperware, it is airtight and liquid tight. So if you're gonna carry it to work and you're gonna put soup in it, this is the one you want, all right? If you're gonna put lasagna in it, it's not gonna be all liquidy, you might want this one. If you're just taking the salad, the salad dressing, you might want this one too, even though you're not gonna heat it up because it's so practical. And again, the feet on the bottom holding it up. And so it's never going to um, have an issue with not heating evenly in the microwave. It's gonna work perfectly for you. But they're also designed with feet so that when you do put these little guys in the freezer, they don't stick to each other because they have their feet to hold them up. All right. And speaking of feet, our fridge smarts, oh my word, fridge smarts are BOGO this tonight. It ends actually, what is today? Today's Tuesday. It ends tomorrow night. You have 12 hours, 24 hours to do this. Fridge smart is BOGO right now. You buy a set and get a set free. We put that on sale once a year. If you don't get it right now, you're going to have to be so sad when you pay full price because you know what? This product will pay for itself. In no time at all, you will realize that I'm not throwing away my fruits and vegetables like I used to. It is revolutionary and Tupperware designed this product to really be a game changer. Why? Because you have the venting on the top. All fruits and vegetables have gases and as they lose their gases, they rot their own skin. So if you put it in a plastic bag, it's a death sentence. If you put it in a crisp drawer in the refrigerator, how many of you agree with me that ought to be called the rotted drawer? <laughs> it's a death sentence. But putting it in your fridge smart and storing it properly and so that you have the well uh, on the bottom and so the fruits and vegetables won't lay in their own water. Nobody wants to do that, all right? And the nice chart here on the front, this is gonna tell you exactly how to vent it. Always make sure that your chart and the word Tupperware is facing the right direction, like this one is not, all right? And so you always want Tupperware and the chart to be together, and that way your venting system is always right. And so if you look on here, you'll see that, um, let's just talk about cucumber. Cucumber is in the center, so I know that it is 
needs to be completely in the center for venting. My strawberries, where all oh, my strawberries are in the and are in the center as well. You know why? Light gassers. Light gassers need no ventilation. Heavy gassers, oh, there it is, the broccoli and the cauliflower. That needs to be all the way open on the other side because they need the most ventilation. And then you have some like your lettuce that is kind of like half and half. And so it needs to be all the way on this side. So it's half open and half closed. And it's going to make a huge difference. In fact, your broccoli will last you 21 days. Your strawberries, an easy 10 days, if not two weeks. It's crazy how long they last. And I'm gonna show you tonight one of my recipes, blueberries that are over eight days old. Amazing how great they taste and how nice and fresh they are. And you will, it'll rock your mind the money you can save. So this size, I love it because I use this one all the time for my strawberries, I use it for my grapes. And by the way, take your grapes off the vine. The vine is made for ripening. <laughs> if you wanna pull your grapes off the vine, you find that they're gonna last for you longer that way as well. And then you also would use this size if you're buying small bags of broccoli, a small bag of lettuce. And I love my mixed greens, Lockdown and Summit Fridge Smart makes a huge difference. But I'm just telling you that because when you look at the BOGO set, and you're looking at the $105 set, buy a set, get a set free. Wow, that's awesome. Well, guess what? There are going to be four containers in one set. So that's eight containers. And you're going to think to yourself, I don't know if I need that many. Well, let me tell you something. When you go to the grocery store and come home with your fruits and vegetables, you're going to have to look through them, figure out which goes in, what's not going to go in. And then you have to just kind of decide what's going to live and die. Because if you don't put them away, they're not going to last as long. And it's going to stretch to your next grocery day if you store them properly. So you're going to find yourself excited about coming home and putting your produce away properly and just kind of testing it and seeing how long it's going to make your produce last for you. You know what? If you're like I am, I go to the grocery store with really good intentions. And I buy my fruits, I buy my vegetables, and I'm like, oh, yes, 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 I want this, I want this, I want this. And I come home, life happens. But if I store them properly, I have time for life to happen. And I have time to make crazy decisions to go out to dinner one night instead of eating, oh, that squash needs to be used. I have time to work around that. A modular mate, you're gonna love modular mates. Now modular mates are the food storage system for dry goods. And so every box of wheat thins and triscuits and every box of raisins and every box of chocolate chips and the boxes of cereal and oh my goodness, the flour and sugar. Big containers, little containers, we have all shapes and sizes. And you're gonna find that these really make a huge difference in keeping things fresher longer and helping keep rid of those little critters with extra legs that you wanna find in your kitchen, okay? You're gonna love that. In fact, I will share with you, if you call Orchid, they will tell you if you have an issue to get rid of all boxes out of your pantry because boxes have glue and they come in after they get adhesive even before they want your glue. Then when they walk into your Tupperware pantry and they see all that beautiful Tupperware storing your dry goods, those little critters look at that and say T-U-P-P-E-R-W-A-R-E <laughs> go next door because they know there's no sense in staying. Now this is a freezer container. I love these because they're so pretty. They have little freezer um, snowflakes on them. So it reminds you that, oh yes, this is freezer proof. They have again, the, uh, the little feet on the bottom to hold them up and so they don't stick to each other in the freezer. And they also have really cool seals that are very pliable and almost feels like they are Tupperware with lotion in them or something. They're very pliable, very easy to use, very easy to put the seals on and off. And so if you know anybody that has a little bit of an issue with that, you might want to suggest the freezer containers for them for everything because they'll certainly work fine in your refrigerator, but they are divine in the freezer. And when you pull them out of the freezer, they thaw quickly. And so that you can easily start opening them up and, and not have any concerns about any breakage at all. But like all our Tupperware that has that lifetime guarantee, if it ever cracks, the pills, chips, or breaks, we get it replaced for you absolutely free. Yay! Just put it in with your next order and you'll love that opportunity. And you know what? Make sure you tell your Tupperware lady tonight if you do have anything because we want to hook you up. We want you to be happy, happy, happy with every product you have. So if anything cracks, split, pills, chips, or broken, <laughs> Make sure you let her know before that party closes so you can add it to your order, okay? You know what? We also have towels for you too in our kit. And all of this is $119. But the retail value, if you were to buy it all, is $450. Wouldn't you not love to have that good discount all year plus this good discount tonight? And there is one other option. If you're sitting there thinking, I don't know if I need that much stuff. 
Well, we have the other try and see. And the try and see is our wonderful power shop. I mean, sorry, this is a whip it. <laughs> our whip it that you can make um, <clears throat> pudding. Uh, it's very cool to make <clears throat> cool whip with. I also like to use this little guy anytime I'm making any jellos and so forth like that because it's going to whip it up and make a really, really nice consistency for all of your dressings and anything like that. If you're making up some wonderful dressings, you're going to put them in your dressing bottles and store them. I love homemade dressings. You're going to want this little guy. But the most practical part of it, I think, is using it to whip up my Cool Whip, homemade Cool Whip. Now you're thinking, why would you buy homemade cook Cool Whip? Cool Whip's $1.75. Well, let me tell you why. The flavor, <laughs> the preservatives, it's hugely different, okay? So you buy heavy cream and you put a little teaspoon of vanilla in there and you put a whole thing of really cold heavy cream in here. And if you wanna add a little bit of powdered sugar, you can because it does make it a little sweeter, but you don't even need it. And you go ahead and whip, 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 whip. And in no time at all, and I'm not kidding, within probably three minutes, you have peaks coming out and the Cool Whip lasts and lasts and lasts. It's beautiful in your refrigerator, pull it out for the next recipe. As long as you've whipped it and gotten that nice and firm peaks, you're gonna love your Cool Whip. And it has such a divine flavor. I mean, if they were going to the really fancy restaurants, they always make their own Cool Whip, okay? And that is amazing. Now you would get this, this, and this if you went to try and see offer, and it's only $45. So this set of bowls alone is $45. This is $49. Oh my goodness, this is a really good deal, but it's up to you. And we just wanna give you that heads up in the beginning because we're looking for you. We want people that wanna come in for a hobby and we want people that wanna come in for a career. When I joined Pink Tupperware, I came in for a discount. And here I am 30 some years later, and guess what? I absolutely love this business and I love what it's done for other women because I can help other women come in and start businesses. I can have other gentlemen come in and start a business with no huge upfront money. That is a huge difference. It's a game changer, it really is. Because most businesses you start, you have to have huge money upfront. And in Tupperware, what if I helped you start tonight for only $15 and in a year from now you were making six figures, what if? It happens and it could be you, you could be next, okay? And now we're gonna turn over to our first chef and I'm super excited about it. But first, I want to check and see with Mel. Mel, do we have a lot of people signing in? I don't know if she's muted or not. Yes, yes, I do. I have yes. 16. 16. 16, I think you said. 16? Awesome. Yes, I have. So one more time, I just want to tell you, if you're a guest with a sign in in the chat underneath here, that way we know you're here because when we hit 20, we start giving away free Tupperware, okay? So uh, Mel, let me know as soon as we hit 20, okay? Okay, All I right. will. All right, so we have a trivia question for you. There were three presidents that died on the 4th of July. Does anybody know who they were? Three different presidents have died on the 4th of July. Now, obviously they didn't die in term on the 4th of July, but they did pass on the 4th of July. So go ahead and put the guesses in there. We'll see who can get it right. But right now we're gonna bring up our amazing chef tonight and she is Jenny Cheeto. And we're so excited to have her in my kitchen. I love it. So Jenny, come on up in my kitchen and what are you making for us tonight? I am making magic 4th of July cookie bars. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Sounds great. I know. In my kitchen. In your <laughs> kitchen with your supersonic power chef. <laughs> so, these are so simple, you guys. There's not very many ingredients, and you just put them all together and bake it. So one of the first things we're going to start with is our micro pitcher, and that is because I have to melt a half a cup of butter. For those of you that don't know, a half a cup of butter is a stick of butter, okay? So if you have sticks of butter and not, you know, you're not pulling it out of a tub or something, that's what you just need. One stick, you're going to put it in a micro pitcher, put the top on here so that when you put it in the microwave, it doesn't splatter and I'm just going to set it up here because while that's doing that, I'm going to go with 30 seconds and hope that's not too long. Um, we're going to make a graham cracker crust, okay? And you can buy graham cracker crust, but it's so easy to make. Um, so we have our supersonic and I've got the blade in there and I asked Alexa earlier today, now she's going to talk to me now. Um, how many graham crackers were in a cup and a half, because that's what I need. And she told me that there were 10. So being me, I pulled out 12 because I want to make sure there's a no. And I like graham crackers. So we're going to put these in here. 
Okay, and we're going to put the top back on, the motor back on because so easy. All right, those are in there. Now you can buy ground cracker crust, or you can just make your own. And I will do this a few times. And you are going to have. I'll do it once or twice more. Okay, so that was just part of a box of graham crackers. So instead of spending that extra money on a pre made graham cracker crust, if you don't need to do all that, all you have to do is grab some extra graham crackers and make your own. Gonna put that over there. Pour these in here. So so simple. Set this back over here. And our butter melted while we were doing that. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. All we have to do is mix this up. And this spatula, the spatula is worth its weight in gold. It also comes in the kit, so it's worth. It's worth getting the kit just for the spatula. Honestly, once you get one, you are going to want more. And all we're going to do is just moisten up this graham cracker crust. Okay. That's it. Just get it to where we can put it. Now you can put it in a nine by thirteen pan. You can put it, um, you know, in anything you use. It does say to use parchment paper if you're using a nine by thirteen pan. I'm going to use one of our silicone molds, so we don't need the parchment paper. You don't have to grease anything. We're just going to put this in here and just, you know, set it up. And this is a fun thing to do. My kids used to like to do this once we convinced them, you know, we got to do the whole hand washing thing and everything else, but they love to do this because you just get to pat it out. It's kind of like making mud pies with ground crackers, right? So you just Make your own graham cracker crust in there. It's not a problem. And this is where the really simple part comes in because the rest of the ingredients are this. These over here. You need one can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, this can does have the full tab on it. You can use that. I would prefer not to. Um, first off, I like to play with kitchen toys and I love our can opener. The second, there are so many reasons to not pull that tab off, okay? When you pull the tab off, you leave a rim around the outside. You can cut yourself with, you know, the um, top of the can, which is not good. And you can get yuck down inside your condensed milk, which is not cool. So all you have to do, right? You open this up and you put it on there on the top and it goes flat on the top. And that confuses some people when they first get their pan opener. Because they try to do it like this, like we've always done with can openers. Nope, it goes flat on the top. Once you go around, you just pull that on there. You pull the top off. And look at that. Won't cut you, won't hurt any of the kids, won't hurt a pet. I had a daughter actually have to go get stitches one time because she reached for something, she dropped in the garbage and got cut on the top of a can that was open. So you don't want that to happen. All right, and then you just pour this sweetened condensed milk to some of the thickest, most amazing stuff. And our spatula goes right down inside that tan to make sure that you get all of it out of there. Okay, so we're just gonna spread that around on top of the graham cracker crust. All right, so far you guys got this, right? Not hard. And the more times you're on here and the more times you see me cook, you will realize that the things I'm going to make are not hard. I do simple, okay? I had five kids at home and we just did simple because it had to be fast most of the time. And I didn't go to great lengths because they ate it so fast that doing anything that took a whole lot of time was just kind of depressing for me. So if it was simple and they could make it themselves, it was great. Then we're just gonna take some quick oats and spread it on the top. Here's the fun part. Gonna take a cup of chocolate chips mini chocolate chips, regular chocolate chips. These are actually low sugar chocolate chips. I'm not gonna lie, I had a couple, you can't tell. Take some white chocolate chips, same thing, low sugar, they taste wonderful. Because I don't know about you, but I cannot have chocolate chips unless I have a couple to make sure they're okay. 
And then red, white, and blue M&Ms because it's the 4th of July. If it was Christmas, you could use green and red. If it was any other, you know, you could use the red on the Valentine's Day. And if you just want to make them, you can just use regular M&Ms. So if you just put all of this on top. And we're going to put this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 350. And when they come out, they're going to be cookies. And the coolest thing about that is going to be when you see them come out of this silicone thing. So that's what I got. Pam, you want to talk about um, whatever happened on your trivia? <laughs> who died? Okay. <laughs> All right. So who answered our trivia question? Well, I don't know. Mel, did we get any answers on there? Uh, we got several answers on there. <laughs> All right. Well, let me tell you, one of them was, Jim, you want to tell us? I didn't look it up. <laughs> one of them was Monroe. Jefferson. One was Jefferson. And the other one was somebody else. Somebody else. Wait a minute. Let me find it. <laughs> I had it up earlier. We were reading that. Now I'm like, wait, who's the third one? Uh, Jefferson, Monroe, and uh, Monroe was the first one. Jefferson. Uh, and then the third one. Okay. Okay. Somebody Google it on there. Google it. <laughs> what about Adams? Was it Adams? Yes. Adam, it was Adams. That's it. I'm like thinking it was a common name. I knew this. All right. Adams. That's right. And so, uh, Mel, 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 how many people do we have on right now? We have 20 people. We have 20 guests. Yes. All right. So, 20 people exactly? 20 guests. Yes. 20 exactly. All right. All right, so hey Alexa, give me a random number between one and 20. Here's a number between one and 20, it's 11. 11, guess number 11 wins, who is it? 11 is Carrie Farmer. All right, Carrie Farmer, congratulations, you just won. And we need you to send your information, your address to me, Pamela Matheny Clift, and we're going to put the link in the chat there. And so that you can find it easily. Pamela Matheny Clip, send it in private messenger, and I will send you your free Tupperware. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. All right, so if you have not signed in yet, it's time to do it. You want to be part of our drawings? We'll give away Tupperware two more times tonight. And so make sure you sign in as soon as you can to be in all of our drawings this evening. And we do have a host drawing. So if you are a host, make sure you tell us you're a host and who you're a host with. And so we can make sure that you get in the host drawing because that's a little bigger piece of tough where we give away at the end of the show today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being with us today. I hope you're enjoying the cooking show. And now we're going to turn it over to Lori and Dwayne. They're a couple, a Tupperware couple that do great success with Tupperware. And we're anxious for you to see Chef Lori and Dwayne. Go ahead. All right. Thanks, Pam. All right. All right. So almost 4th of July, as you can see from our shirts. We all have matching 4th of July shirts. Yeah. So we decided to make, um, since we couldn't make those delicious cookie bars that Jenny was making, we decided to make taco salad. And as we were making this, um, we like to make taco dip. So you can make a variation of this. And instead of making it a taco salad, you can make it a taco dip. So first and foremost, we always start with our stack cooker. So if you don't have this amazing product, you need this. We always brown our ground meat in our stack cooker because then all of the grease and the fat and the gross stuff, you're not cooking your meat in it, it drops down. And I'm gonna show you because I pre-cooked this. So this is the cover and then this is the colander. So what you would do, and I took pictures, so I will post them on our Cooking with Tupperware page. Um, I took pictures before and um, after. So this is the strainer. So you put your ground meat in here, you know, on, not frozen. I don't, I, I don't recommend frozen. I don't, it, it would take longer and then you risk having your meat get really tough. Yeah. So defrosted, I was defrosted in the refrigerator. I do not like to use the microwave to defrost anything. So I use the refrigerator to defrost. So you put your meat in here and this was four minutes in our microwave on high. So the middle um, colander or the middle one and three quarter quart, Dwayne's gonna show you. So this sits in here like this. So let me back. So this is how you cook it. We have the one and three quarter, you put the strainer 
the colander inside and you put the top on, all right? And then you put it in the microwave. And this is what comes out of the meat. And you guys, the meat that we get comes from a butcher. You know, we get a side of beef. So it's very, very lean, but there's still stuff like that. that you don't want. So the stack cooker is amazing to cook healthier with your ground meat, but you can also stack three meals in the stack cooker. And it also comes with a cone so you can make a meatloaf or you can bake a cake. So we started with that and I have pictures. And since we're using, um, since we're doing a flag, we're doing it in a flag. Since it's the 4th of July, we decided to put it in our nine by 13 um, large storage. So if anybody knows Tupperware, this is always everyone's favorite, favorite product. Um, and our seal happens to be blue for 4th of July. Um, but this is what everybody makes cookies in and freezes and everything. So because we're making a flag, we're using the nine by 13. But normally I make my uh, taco dip in our Clearly Elegant. This is the newest piece that I have. This is the, I call it like the casserole dish, but this is amazing. This is clear. It's our non-breakable non -breakable plastic. Um, and it looks like glass. It's called our Clearly Elegant, but it's cool because you can layer it and it looks really pretty. And it is the perfect, yes, it's perfect size for taco dip. Or you could make this taco salad in it, put the seal on, it's airtight, you can take it to your party or you can cover it up so the flies don't get on it. Good, good point. So this is your alternative to uh, the nine by 13, all right? So- and like Roy says, since the flag is rectangular instead and not circle, you're using this instead. So what we did is we put um, tortilla chips on the bottom kind of broke them up because we have the dipper kind. You can use the flat kind or the dipper. And then we took the meat that came out of the stack cooker and we added taco seasoning with a two thirds cup of water because that's how you make taco meat, right? And we put it on top, all right? So that's the base. So now if you wanted to, you could put sour cream on it. You could put picante sauce on it. You could go the dip route. We're gonna go kind of in between. We're kind of changing the recipe up a little bit. So um, we're gonna do salsa goes next, not lettuce, okay. salsa goes next. Now you can use jarred salsa or you can make it. I have it here in my Clearly Elegant. I made this um, earlier today. Um, we have a really simple salsa recipe. I used our um, Supersonic that Pam was talking about that you can get in our $119 package. Love this, I use it for everything. Um, so I made the salsa in here, onion, garlic, fresh tomatoes, cilantro, and lemon juice. You could just pour it on, you don't have to be so. Well, I didn't want to get, no, that's interrupt you. And then um, you can also see this looks a little dirty. I put my meat before I put it down in here to break it up. This was Dwayne's trick. Dwayne thought of this years ago. When you make it in the microwave, you want to break it up so it's smaller. So you don't want to just stand there with your spatula. Put it in your supersonic, pull it two or three times, and it's perfect taco meat. All right. So this has multiple uses. So we used it earlier today. He's so neat. I would just be like, well, presentation. <laughs> It's got onions in it too. So you can make your salsa. The cool thing about making your own salsa, it takes five minutes to make it. You can um, spice it up or spice it down, however you want to do it. You want to throw some now, in? yeah, we're going to add a little picante sauce because that's what we like. So um, we're going to add picante sauce. Go ahead, put a little bit more on that on. And just move it around a little bit so it's moist enough because if it sits in the fridge too, um, you know, it's going to absorb, but you don't want to, um, make this too far ahead or your tortilla chips on the bottom because you're adding wet ingredients are going to get soggy. So make it kind of right before your party. So you can add hot sauce, which is what Dwayne's going to do. Go yeah, ahead. I got to hot it down a little bit because yeah, Lori's going to eat it. And the hotter he makes it, he, the, no, the more he knows it's all for himself. 
I all right, that's good. That's on, good. A little bit more. Little all right. Bit more. So then we have um, the lettuce. So um, Dwayne just cut this with our chef's knife, right? Our chef's knife is amazing. So it, we have we stored in our fridge smarts, like Pam was talking about. Our fridge smarts, you get one in the in the hundred nineteen dollar package, but these are bogo right now. This is normally what we store our romaine in. No, we don't this. Yep, we buy it at like Costco, um, or we'll use um, spinach. Bag spinach stays good. Huge for I'm like spinach. a month, you guys. A month. It's crazy. Our romaine, we we make salads with spinach and romaine because the other lettuce isn't really lettuce. Um, the big head that you get. There's not a, not a lot of not not a lot of nutrients in it. So you need your fridge smarts, okay? So Dwayne is gonna show you how to grate cheese. So it's just cheese on top, and then we're gonna garnish it with tomatoes and olives um, while, oh, while everybody else talks about different things. And we'll come back and show the, 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 present, the, the final presentation and talk tonight. <laughs> so this is our part of our master system. This is our grater. So this base, there's three attachments. Yeah. Real, real simple. Here's the base. It's got a little suction cup on the bottom. The suction cups to your countertop. And here's your grater part, real simple. It's only a few parts. This is the handle on screws. And here's your grater. You kind of see the little cutting blades. And that it is. What you need to do, slide this on top. And what you'll do is there's a little suction cup a little, little locking system here, which actually locks the top to the base and also suction cups the um goes to your countertop so it does two things at once so if you pull it and then you'll hear it click maybe and now it's in not going in get a bowl get your cheese we like black cheese why do we like black cheese because it doesn't have a bunch of preservatives right so it melts better it tastes better it's more economical and it's fresher so you see how he's just putting it in and it has a plunger. Mm -hmm. So you can do, we routinely do sharp cheese, Colby, mozzarella. Um, we have a, it comes with a finer cone where you could do Parmesan, the harder cheeses. Um, none of that cheese in the green container, right? Yep. It's um, easy enough. Kids can help you. With yes. It. When uh, we started Tupperware eight years ago, our daughter loved to help in the kitchen. Um, eight years she's later, now she's a teenager, she's 14. She will help if she knows that's the only way she's gonna eat. Or she could have her iPhone. Or... So if you have young kids or grandkids, they love to do this. I mean, she used to do it yeah. all the time. Was that maybe a minute? Yeah. We done. So we usually do block, at least one block at a time, sometimes more, and then we put the seal on and it's fresh. You can also put this in the freezer and um, a tip, for the freezer is you sprinkle a little cornstarch on it and it won't stick together. But you can see how fresh it is. No more bag cheese. We haven't used bag cheese in five years. And it kind of kills us sometimes when we go somewhere and people have bag cheese. Not that we're cheese snobs, but <laughs> we that's when we always bring up, hey, you know what? You should have one of these. Right. You know, because it's, it's, it's so healthier. It's nice because we have a giant eagle by us and they have all sorts of different kinds of cheeses expensive cheeses and they're always in a block form that's always nice and nice you can kind of grind them up very simple great grind it great so that's our base okay so oh, now what we're going to do is we're going to use olives to make the we have olives here we're going to use olives to make the top of the or the, flags the flag the is stars. the stars you could get fancy and make stars. Yes, yeah. So we also store all of our um, snacks in our modular mates. So like Pam was talking about, nothing stays fresher than um, your pantry items. And 
it literally takes three seconds, well, maybe five minutes when you come home from the grocery store and put it all in there because then you can see what you need to buy because with a teenager, if anybody can relate, um, we, she constantly, if there's like, say, um, muffin, all right, the individually bagged muffins that she uses for school or uses for snacks, um, she'll inevitably pull them out the of the box and then leave the box. So if you see a box in there and you go to the store and you're like, oh, we have some. Hmm. But I've gotten smart and I know that those boxes are empty. And uh, so this using modular mates, you won't ever run into that. Okay, so we just put chips around the outside to make it look fun. Now these are cherry tomatoes and we are going to, I cut them in half. We're gonna make stripes. And I guess we could do this, we're quick. You just you just cut them in half. Oh my gosh, that's messy there. I'm sorry. Well, you got your hands in my way. Kind of put them down, like so the tops are up. There you go. So, oh, we need one up here. So this is it has a really nice presentation, and it's delicious. And then you can eat it, and you can put the cover on it and take it to your party. Or if you're having your party at home, you could just whip it out of the refrigerator. And show everybody how cool it is. <laughs> Always our dog barks when we're on a live. Not kidding you. She knows. Okay, so that's basically it, right? Yeah. I don't know if we were supposed to count how many of these, but we wanted to be technical. Doesn't look like there's 50, but no, we can't do that. So this is the final presentation. Look how pretty that is. So you have your flag, um, taco salad or taco dip, whichever you like. So I will post the picture before Dwayne eats it. And are oh, you gonna try to put the top on? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. And then, um, like I said, I'll put the, the pictures on. So you can just cover it up, it's airtight and take it with you. So that is our recipe. I hope you guys have a happy fourth. And uh, if you make this, come back to our page and show us what yours looks like. I do that, that's a great idea. Am I on, Jim? Yep. Okay, that's a great idea. Hey, Lori, tell me, yes. uh, take a few pictures of that, right? Yes. Yes, we need pictures for the team page. That's so cute. And it looks delicious. I kind of wish I was there. But I am here, and we're going to make a fun salad next. But first, we want to find out who knows, <laughs> who knows who the first president was that celebrated the 4th of July at the White House. Who was the very first president that celebrated the 4th of July? in the White House? That's a good trivia question. These are fun for this weekend when you get together with your family and friends and you can start throwing away some trivia questions and seeing who knows your answers, right? And so write them down, all right? All right, so we have this amazing host program over here. So all of our hosts tonight, you are going to get a gift no matter what you get a gift from Tupperware. I always love that about Tupperware party because you get a gift so fast, no matter what happens, in your Tupperware party, as long as you hit that $200 level, you know, maybe you didn't hit that $1,000 party, but you're bummed out because you didn't do it, but you're still getting free Tupperware, all right? And it starts at 200, um, I believe it's 225, um, don't quote me on that, but you start getting free Tupperware. And one of those gifts could be a small little mini fridge smart, which I have sitting right here. You get two of these, all right? Or you can get, remember the red bowl that I had in the last one, that it was a 12 cup bowl, you can get that. Or you can get, like, there's a lot of different choices. There's, like, five different choices or four different choices. You get to choose a thank you gift. They're all valued right around $25, and they're free <laughs> to our hostesses, all right? Then the other thing that happens is as your party sells climb, and two of your friends say, this is kind of fun, doing it online, watching the cooking show, or doing it in home. Maybe you want to do it at your house right now, a backyard barbecue. Maybe you want to do a pool party. If you have a yacht, I deliver. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, well, not really. <laughs> okay. But you have lots of options right now. Girlfriends love to get together and friends, couples. I love couples parties. Whatever you choose, it's just really a great time of year. You know, we are so anxious to get together with family and friends now that it's safer again to do that. So please think about whether you want to have a get together in home or if you want to do it online. When you do and you volunteer, your Tupperware lady is going to be so excited to work with you. 
However, your host is going to be super pumped too, because when she has $500 in sales and two of her friends saying, this is pretty cool, I want to do it too, she can have all of this, right? Now, this is beautiful. These are called ice prisms, and they are so pretty. They're designed after a lead crystal, and you know how lead crystal has those marks in it that really gets the light in it, and it would go ahead and flicker in that light? Well, that's what this is made to do, and that's why it's designed and edged like that. Our beautiful black seals make it practical. So if you've got things in the refrigerator, you can go ahead and stack them on top of each other. If you've ever tried to stack with the saran wrap or shrink wrap on top of there, that doesn't work, does it? We are made for stacking, all right? And you completely condense this down inside of the big bowl so it makes it easy for storing as well. They're so pretty though, and ethically correct. Anytime you have a party, you always want to serve three things. And so you can serve your potato chips, your pretzel, and maybe your fruit dip in there if you want to serve fruit on the side as well. I personally, or chip dip, I guess would be good. I personally love this picture. This picture is so pretty. I like to take sliced strawberries in there, sliced cucumbers and some fresh water. Um, it's so pretty and so refreshing. It's beautiful with iced tea in it. It's also great for uh, strawberry daiquiri. Whatever you want to serve looks really, really pretty inside of here. And it's so lightweight. You know, sometimes the heavy glass ones get so heavy and then you fill it full and it's super heavy and you have to have um, body you know, workout in order to be lifting your beverages, all right? Um, then we also have our ice prison tumblers. And these are so awesome. I love them. I like to drink from them. I like to hold them. Uh, we have several different designs of this beautiful uh, Triton. Uh, that's what this is called. It's not, um, it's not your traditional uh, plastics that you've seen, polycarbonate or any of that. This is BPA free. It is very, very practical and very easy to have in your home, uh, very lightweight and including uh, four luncheon plates, which are really handy. They're so pretty, dessert plates, little uh, parfait plates. You can use these for the girls' luncheon um, and picnic out of the, out of, by the pit fire pit. Uh, serving cheese and crackers with your wine in the evenings, whatever you prefer. It's so pretty and you'll love having it because it's so um, awesome to serve on such elegant wear. Now, if you're going on a picnic, you might like this line, all right? This is our picnic set and it is filled with small containers inside. And so you can organize your different um, uh, snacks that you're taking. If you're taking lots of different, like your almonds and you're taking, or maybe you want to put all of your, uh, salad toppings down inside of here for a salad to go with you and your husband or you might want to go ahead and put different kind of nuts and snacks inside of here raisins and almonds and so forth um you could use it for olives you could use it for many couture couture charcuterie uh, cheese board and <laughs> and you also have um all three layers of this and so this stacks and stacks and stacks and what's really handy is they connect to each other so you have one handle and you've got all three of the containers now this is a lot of strawberry daiquiri you might use this for vodka slush for a big party but i really have to share with you this is super handy to have and if you do take it with you with um kool-aid to beverages to adult beverages you're gonna love having it. And when it's empty and you went to the beach, throw the wet bathing suits down the side of there. By the time you get home with a little bit of laundry soap and um, some clean water, you'll have clean bathing suits. So the sand will be in the bottom, all right? Um, then we also have our fun tumblers. Now these are designed, these are called tabletop tumblers because they're made and so they're not going to float away on the countertop and they're easy to pick up even with wet hands and so that you're going to have that little rim right there that's going to stop you from sliding it out of your hand and they're very practical they do come with flat seals and so you can go ahead and um, use them for lots of things but if you want to take a beverage with you that you want to seal up and take with you you've got a wonderful tumble to do that aren't those a beautiful cranberry color i love that color and then i want to tell you i love our tupperware um, uh, reusable uh, silverware because this is designed out of a phenomenal product line that we have, a phenomenal plastic line. And I want to tell you, these are super strong, very, very nice. They feel elegant in your hand. You know, I don't like to eat from plastic silverware because I, it, I don't feel like it's ever clean. Uh, even when it comes out of the box, I'm like, that's like, not clean to me, right? And if it's been sitting out of the picnic, I certainly don't want to eat from it. And I will share with you, if it's sitting out of the restaurant or something like that, um, fast food restaurant, it never feels clean to me unless it's got that little plastic saran wrap on it. 
And then I feel guilty about what I'm doing to the environment, throwing away things that, you know, just shouldn't be thrown away constantly. We should use reusable things and use them again and again and again. And you have your knife that is workable. This is a knife that'll cut through things. I'm telling you, this would cut through a steak if you wanted to. These are sharp, but they're plastic. It's those little teeth that are on there that are so cool. Then they snap together to make it easy for you to go ahead and throw them clean in your purse, um, which is very practical as well. Throw them in your lunchbox, take them with you to work, and use these instead of throwaways that you're feeling there. You know, you made one person. How can you make a difference? I'll tell you how you can make a difference. It's when we all start doing it. That will make a difference. And so you be the change that you want to see. And making sure that we're not throwing away things that are senseless to be throwing away constantly every single day. And that's where Tupperware comes into play. Uh, Tupperware has a lifetime guarantee. You know, we are recyclable, absolutely. But we don't need to be recyclable when we're going to last a lifetime. How many of you have a bowl at home right now that, you know, you've had for maybe 10 years or 20 years or 30 years or 40 years from Tupperware? You know what? It's crazy. Maybe it's your mom's, your grandma's, but... We literally have customers that have bowls that have the millionaire line written on the bottom of them. And that is a product that's probably 60 years old. Now you tell me that that's not environmentally sound. That is a great product to have. And we have been the cutting edge for all those years of the latest and greatest uh, sustainable products that are safe for the family. I love Tupperware for knowing what they're doing for us in our homes and in our environment. You know what? As you're watching this evening, you're thinking, I do want to have a party. I want that picnic set. That's cooler than cool. Or I want that beautiful serving set. That's cooler than cool. Go ahead and tell your Tupperware rep that you're up for the next party and she'll give you the dates. Guess what the dates are? Every single Tuesday night, <laughs> we have a party here every Tuesday night at eight o'clock and your Tupperware chefs will show you some fun recipes. I have the next recipe and it's super easy. Anybody come up with the answer on who was the very first president to serve uh, in the White House? Uh, I don't know about you, but I've got the answer right here. And it was, um, it was <laughs> um, Thomas Jefferson. Wow, wasn't he one of the gentlemen that actually died on the 4th of July? Um, okay, well, who was born on the 4th of July? Which president was actually born on the 4th of July? That's our next question. Um, and Jessica, and uh, I'm sorry, Jessica, I'm used to saying Jessica. Melanie, how many guests do we have on right now? Yes, we have 26 on. Woohoo! All right, 26. This is the record tonight. All right, so Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 26. Hey, Alexa. Give me a random number between one and 26. Give the number between one and 26. It's seven. Seven. Who is number seven? Seven. We have, let's see, Kim. I'm not sure how to say her last name. R E H F E L D T. Kim right. Redfield. <laughs> Kim, congratulations. You're the next winner on. The Tupperware cooking show, <laughs> right? You thought I was going to say the price is right, didn't you? Actually, your price is right because it's free. We're going to send you some free Tupperware just for winning on our cooking show tonight. So make sure you send me your address under Pamela Matheny Clift on Facebook and your messenger so I can send out your free Tupperware. All right, so our next recipe is delightful. You're going to love it. It's a, it's a watermelon salad. And you're going to take, I like to mix in my bigger bowl and then serve in my pretty bowls. And so when I mix in my bigger bowl, I can make a mess. This is a nice big vats of bowl. Remember the red vats of bowl I showed you that was 12 cups? This one is actually a gallon. This is 4.5 liter. And you're going to love using this bowl in your kitchen. I also like the fact that I can make double recipes in here. This is not the vats of bowl regular... This is not the 32 cup bowl. This is the 20 cup bowl, I believe it is. All right, and you're gonna really like this. Now, I will tell you first what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the watermelon in there. I've already pre-measured this. This is eight cups of watermelon that I cubed. And so that is a beautiful serving of eight cups of watermelon. And then I'm going to add a cup of blueberries. Ooh, I wanna tell you something about these blueberries. These blueberries are seven days old. I want you to look at these blueberries. They were inside my fridge smart container and they are seven days old. They are delicious blueberries. Love healthy 
blueberries. They are so good for us. Our measuring cups from Tupperware, I love them. All right, and then this is our feta cheese. Now we're supposed to call for a fourth a cup of feta cheese and I accidentally measured out a whole cup. <laughs> oh darn, <laughs> who loves cheese, all right? And then we also wanna put some mint leaves in there. Now I have to show you this, this is cooler than cool. First of all, I grow my own mint, I grow my own herbs and by the way, I want to tell you, how many of you have heard people say, I hate to cook, I hate to cook, I hate to cook? Well, <laughs> I want to tell you, I love to cook. I love the kitchen and I love to cook, but I want to share something with you. I've often felt bad for people to say they hate it because I think they must not have the right tools because having the right tools and cooking in the kitchen is so fun. My husband and I cook together oftentimes and it's just kind of like a date night when we do that. It's also fun to, um, make new recipes and find new ideas and just, you know, get creative. That's why this show is fun. So you can come up with new ideas. This is our pillar and you're thinking, what is she gonna do with the pillar with her mint? Well, let me tell you, I love our pillar for lots of reasons. It's very sharp, it's very easy to peel. You can peel everything, you, you know, peel your cucumbers, peel, peel, peel your tomatoes, peel your potatoes. And this little guy right here is to take out any excess holes. This will actually cut through. That is very sharp, that little edge right there. If you wanna cut um, through a, a, a vegetable or anything like that. Um, and then you have this really cool, these three dots right there. Those three dots are to take the leaves off of any kind of mint that you want to take off. And so you little, uh, you pick out the hole that you want to use. Um, I'm going to use the middle hole right now. And so I put my stem through the middle hole and I am going to pull on the other side and watch this. There you go. All my leaves right there, right off my stem. And I just take those and put them right in my, um, my mix. And this calls for your, um, your, leaves to be chopped. I just kind of tore them a little bit because I didn't want them really chopped, chopped. All right. And then I'm going to put those in there. That was two teaspoons of mint leaves. And then this is our dressing. The dressing has honey, has li uh, lime juice in it, has salt, and it also has um, honey, lime juice, salt, and hmm, there was one other thing I put in here. What? Oil. What? Oil. Oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. <laughs> Small detail. Now I want to tell you something really, really cool. These are our, um, our, our little <laughs> amazing olive and oil dispensers and they are so cool. See this little rocking cap? I could have my hands completely full and have to take the lid off of something like this. Not with this little guy. This is designed so all you do is tilt and it pours, tilt and it pours. Now I want to show you something else really, really cool. When I pour a little bit and I stop, no drip. Pour a little bit and stop, no drip. For a little bit and stop, no drip. Is that not the coolest ever, <laughs> right? And so really, really cool. I love these. Uh, they're pretty with your olive oil and your um, balsamic vinegar on your table. If you love a good olive oil and balsamic vinegar for your uh, salad dressing, I love balsamic vinegar on my, uh, on my um, Brussels sprouts as well. I love to make Brussels sprouts and with the bacon. Mmm, that's so good. Look at this beautiful, beautiful salad. This is watermelon, feta cheese, blueberries, and um, our dressing on there. And oh my goodness, it's oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. I know that you guys say, you're, if you're a good chef, you're gonna taste it. All right, so let me taste it. Oh wait, oh, I made a mess. Oh well, <laughs> I'm in my own kitchen, I can make messes, right? But first I wanna go ahead and pour it. You need to put that cheese back in there. What's that? You need to put that cheese oh, back in. Sorry. It. <laughs> My husband's like, ah, uh, cheese. <laughs> All right, let's put it. I like to mix in a big bowl so I don't mess up my pretty bowls. And then I pour it down inside of here. Is this not gorgeous, guys? That is such a pretty salad. And they do say to make it and serve it right away. It is best if you make it right, uh, serve it right before, make it right before you're going to serve it. And I don't have a spoon to taste, so I'm just going to use my fingers, all right? Oh, I need to get a blueberry, I need to get watermelon, and I need to get feta cheese. Mm. Awesome. You're going to love it. I know my cameraman is saying, what? Where's mine? My... <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> all right. You are going to love that. That is so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And I will tell you, the mint in there, too. I had a little piece of mint in there. That really does a little kick, so it's really good. You're going to like it. All right. All right. So 
Um, we are ready to go ahead and give away our last free. And so we're, our last question, our, our last trivia question, do we have any answers on there, Jen? A ton. A ton? What do we got? Um, we have a lot of people said Monroe. Calvin yes. Coolidge. Oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> Somebody won Calvin Coolidge. Uh, guess what you won? Yay! You won clapping and the bragging <laughs> rights. All right. But we are going to do more Tupperware giveaway. And so, how many people do we have on right now, Mel? Uh, we have 26 on. All right. 26 guests. Yes. Pardon? 26 guests. All right. How many hosts do we have on right now? Hmm. We have three hosts on. All right. So, hey, Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 26. Number nine. Number nine is Angie Tinsley. All right, Angie Tinsley, send me your address. You're the next winner on the Tupperware Cooking Show with Champion. And so now is the time for us to give away our grand prize to our host and so we have three hosts what are their names tonight um well angie tinsley is one of them and Yay. then susan clark and ashley uh, deathbridge all right so mix up those numbers you know i don't want to know who number is one two and three but we're going to go right now and hey alexa give me a random number between one and three here's a number between one and two it's one one Who's number one on your mix up? Susan Clark. All right, Susan Clark, congratulations. You're the lucky winner on our host gift. And so we are going to send you free Tupperware, uh, a little bigger than some of the others because you're the host winner. And we can't wait to see all of you next week on Cooking with Tupperware and Champion. Right here, same time, same place, eight o'clock Tuesday night. We'll see ya. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.